Good morning from Los Angeles. I thought I would do a little show and tell. This morning I have something I have been wanting for years and um, I thought it'd be fun to just have a quick word about slow food and slow perfumery. Um, one of the notes that I really enjoy using in my botanical perfumery is Angelica root. And I've long known about Angelica um, because of all my dabblings in old medieval and Elizabethan herbals, which are my favorites. And if you know the story of how I got onto the perfumer's path, quote unquote, you'll know that it was through these old manuscripts and also from playing and, and volunteering and working, but mostly playing and learning in the, um, the Huntington Botanical Gardens and getting to know all of the kind of old fashioned, traditional aromatic um, ingredients that grew in the aromatic and herbal patches there. And I was so lucky to have the head gardeners who were so patient with me and who taught me so much because I had a lot of questions, of course. And I'm still learning, always, always learning. Um, one thing I have learned, I love to make, you know, historical recipes and use traditional aromatic methods. But one thing I've learned is that I, I don't enjoy candying fruit. I know how easy it is. Um, there's a lot of things that I do that are hard and laborious. Um, I've made pomanders from oranges using the cloves and it hurts your hand so much. And I also one time made a rosary for my grandmother who was Catholic from rose beads. And that was really hard. So I'm not afraid of hard aromatic tasks, but I don't like making candied fruit. It's so messy to me. I find the sugar stuck to my kitchen and everywhere for like weeks later. So I buy my candied fruit from my favorite foodie market, um, Market Hall Foods, and I did a separate little share about Market Hall and Cordy Brothers and the Los Angeles Bay City's Deli. And I did forget to mention uh, Monsieur Marcel, which is um, a really fun French imports market um, at 3rd and Fairfax, and I like to go there too. But I don't want to get off track. I'm here to share I'm doing a little show and tell of my candied angelica that I got from Market Hall Foods. Isn't that a fantastic green color? I'm trying to hold it up so the light shines through it. It's just beautiful. And it's been many years I've been curious to try this because as I said, I use angelica in my perfumery. And it's, it's things like this that just make me passionate about, um, you know, cooking with aromatics as well as blending perfumes with aromatics. Um, it's, it's that connection between the beautiful plants. And so I have smelled Angelica many times, but I really look forward to tasting it. I know that I do love the fennel family and I make uh, a baked fennel dish often. I, I love licorice. So um, it's supposed to have these qualities when you eat it. And candied angelica was an ingredient that they used um, in cooking a while ago. You can find like many Italian recipes that will call for some candied angelica. So just a little show and tell. Um, I do love to support Market Hall Foods when I can. And um, I, a lot of times the angelica would, would be sold out when I was placing my twice a year order. And I got lucky this time. And if you're watching this soon after I recorded it, it's actually on sale right now. So just take one more look at the beautiful green color of the root, the sugared root. I'm, I kind of wish it wasn't in plastic. I'm going to take it out of plastic and put it in, the, in glass to store it. And I'm sure I'll have it for the year because this is a lot of candied fruit right here. <laughs> so it'll probably last me. And I, got, I bought some candied lemon from them too. But I always look forward to experimenting and expanding my palette um, in this way. So um, yeah, just a little show and tell from my work table this morning as I wake up and I'm wishing everyone a pleasant and aromatic day.